Hey guys, it's the Solo Class King today, and so as some Monster Legends video, I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not Bandoloro is worth it out of the current bounty hunt. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Bandoloro is an attacker, and his traits are Torture Immunity, Hardened, and Abomination Hater. So Torture Immunity is great, Hardened is pretty decent as well, but the last one isn't too good. But yeah, he has some pretty decent traits. And then his relics are Sword and Sword, which are both pretty good. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, he has Abomination Abominationator and triple damage, which can of course help him do tons of damage. And he can also remove shields before damage, which is pretty good. He has access to nanovirus and burning. He has a good trait. He's got low cooldowns and stamina cost with a spammable 75 damage move, which is very good. He also has a metal element in the current meta, and his relics are good for damage. So yeah, pretty much he'll just be doing a ton of damage. And then his cons are walled by TDA and Mega Taunt. And his move is risky around positive effect removal, and he has bad relic slots with no way of regaining stamina. So now let's go on down to his move set. So he has a 75 fire damage, zero cooldown. That's a spammable one. He also has the remove shield with 70 damage. He has an AoE of 40 metal damage with nanovirus, which is pretty good. And he also has an AoE fire damage with a burn. And then he has a self abominationator with triple damage. So yeah, this monster has a ton of really great moves to do a lot of damage with. So pretty much this monster will be amazing for bounty hunts because of all of his super high damaging moves but besides that i'm not really sure if he'll be good on your team he doesn't have too much i mean i guess he does have an aoe nanovirus but besides that he doesn't really do much against like megaton or stuff like that and he can't stop airy dodge so yeah he won't be able to hit some of the monsters but yeah for bounty hunts he will be very very good so just keep that in mind if you are looking to use this monster and yeah that's going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of bandolero and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye